<clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on this show, and we have some uh, breaking, breaking, breaking news here. Uh, with the Kentucky head coaching search, uh, you know it's got Drew today. Uh, he was offered, but he turned it down because his I think wife or something wanted to take the job. And that was really uh, my last hope of a good candidate we could have. And they interviewed Mark Pope uh, today, I think. And if, and I was thinking if they hired him, I'd be kind of critical. But Mitch always interviews a lot of candidates. He has, he's interviewed at least two others that haven't come out yet. He did he, at the time, but. And this was said by Matt Jones earlier, and I kind of agree. I'm I'm still kind of critical of the hire now of Mark Pope to Kentucky. As you're not really hiring a proven winner in the tournament. Because they lost a double-digit seed as well uh, in the first round. And, I, and if this happens, I think it's kind of a mistake. I'm not saying Mark Post's a bad coach. He, he's a good coach. He's done excellent for BYU, but they've choked when it matters most in the tournament. Mitch Barnhart is going to have a lot of questions uh, to answer about why he uh, hired Mark Pope. And they at least wait for Billy Donovan. Or maybe they didn't even contact him. Or maybe they didn't... Pump. I mean, I know some people are like, Oh, Rick Patino, but that was never going to happen. Dan Hurley's never going to happen. Uh, this could, this could, honestly is a fireable offense by Mitch Barnhart. Oh, and watch Mark Pope probably be ran out there in a year or two. I mean, he's done good, I guess, for BYU standards. 2019-2020, 24-8. and 20-7 the year after. 24-11. I mean, they're not two quarterfinals. Wow. Uh, 1915 the year after, down the year. 23 and 11 this year, but they lost in the first round. They lost in the first round in 2020, tw or 2020, 2021. 2019, the tournament wasn't even held. They were in the NIT quarterfinals in 2021, 22. I just don't know about this hire. I'm critical. I mean, maybe no one else wanted the job, but I, I mean, I like Mark Pope. I think he's a, a good guy. I think he's a good coach. But if this is really the best we could get, I just don't know. Just I, you, a slow confidence in Mitch Barnhart now. I thought he could get a good, a great coach here with a with a proven with a proven winner. And there's people in the fan base to be happy. And I understand because I think he's a good coach, but we want someone to reignite this program and make a splash. And Mitch Barnhart. Introduces a guy who's never won an NCAA tournament game. Yeah, he was good on the Kentucky team back in the day. He used used to play for. But I just, it's, it's, I think it's too much pressure for him to be the Kentucky coach. Like he's never won an NCAA tournament game. Mitch Barnhart probably be like, "Oh, why are y'all mad at me? Because you've got a guy that's not a proven winner." I mean, he has some experience, but I mean, I'm not overjoyed. But I think we should support the best of our ability and hope it works out. But I'm still going to support Mark Pope. I hope he does good for Kentucky. But I'm just skeptical on, skeptical on this hire as of now. He's had some good years. But they went out early in the tournament. But I'm still going to hope this works out. But I'm skeptical. Like, I love Mark Pope. But his coaching record isn't good enough to get an SEC job. Let alone the UK job to me. And maybe, maybe we made a mistake running Cal Perry out of Kentucky. Maybe we made a mistake. I don't think it really matters what we think at this moment. I guess we just have to let it play out and be as supportive, be supportive as we, as we uh, would whoever the hire would be. But maybe image Mitch hasn't cared about the fan base in a long time. So, but I feel like this could be a reach. Yes, he swung, but Mitch Mitch Barnhart struck for Scott Drew Hurley and Nate Oates, and he missed. But Mitch Barnhart's career ended today. I assume Barnhart was 100% assuming Drew would take the job and never had a serious backup plan. I just don't know about Mark Pope.
but it's just going from thinking you're getting Hurley to getting Mark, Mark Pope is hysterical from some of the fan base. I don't think it's the worst hire in the history of college basketball. I think it could be a good hire. I mean, we just, I guess we need to act quick because we're losing recruits. Uh, we're losing recruits. We've lost some four stars of a five star. We need to get some players from the transfer portal. But just maybe Mitch Barnhart needs to go too. Maybe we didn't talk, talk enough about the AD being a problem as well. Maybe he needs to go too. He, he's done nothing to elevate this Kentucky basketball in recent years. But whatever. That's really all to say for this video. Just gotta hope this hire works out. Um, hope, I'll be rooting for Mark Pope, but just kind of skeptical as of now. But we'll see. But that's all to say. Something next time out. Peace.